Um, I'd like to thank God for giving me the opportunity to be in front of this camera today on the invitation of Brother Jimmy, whose passion it is to um, spread the message of God through his firm belief in, um, you know, the Lion of Judah manifesting itself. And um, I am very, very grateful to be given this opportunity to actually be here. And what I'd like to share with you are uh, the basic prayers that uh, a lot of people use all over the world to communicate to, of course, the Almighty God. And um, let me read from this book about prayers. Common prayers. Prayer is the path by which we can enter into intimate communion with God our Father, with Jesus, with the Holy Spirit, our soul's most kindly guest. By means of prayer, we also communicate with Mary, the mother of God, the mother of Jesus, and our mother as well, and with all the saints in heaven together with whom we form one single body, one single church, whose head is Christ. We have constant need of prayer, therefore, in the same way that we need air to breathe. Prayer holds the key to our true happiness our perseverance in faith and grace, our strength to avoid falling into sin, our willingness to bear the weight of sorrows and trials. In a word, prayer holds the key to our eternal salvation. Jesus bade us to pray always. We can put this divine command into action by living constantly in a state of love and adoration toward God, offering Him all our actions and especially our sufferings, seeking to carry out His will by observing the commandments and the gospel. However, we must also dedicate a few moments of the day exclusively to the Lord when by entering into intimate communion with Him by means of vocal or mental prayer in the things of God, for example, the Eucharist and the Passion and the Death of Christ, we can obtain the strength needed for our Christian life. My dear brother and sister, around the world. Right now we do have uh, more than seven billion brothers and sisters around the world. And of course we have uh, many different uh, uh, kind uh, religious. And uh, there are different kind of prayer. Mm -hmm. But uh, after all, what we learn is we all believe in one God. That's right. So we hope that we learn about the Holy God, Jesus Christ, taught us how to pray. Mm -hmm. uh, my experience, I see that that is the best way and the only way to pray to communication and to connect to the Almighty God by the teaching of the Holy God, Jesus Christ. So would you please, uh, Brother Henry, would you please um, share about uh, the prayer of, of uh, uh, the Holy God, Jesus Christ, touch us uh, more than somewhere around, you know, uh, sometime about 2,000 years ago. You know the prayer of our Father in heaven, right? Because I know that you speak English much well than I do. So I'm glad that you're here because uh, thank you for that. Would you please share that to our brother and sister around the world? Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Brother Jimmy. Well, um, of course, we all know the ultimate form of prayer is the one that no less than Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, has taught us when he was asked by his disciples how to pray. So, um, following that, let me do the prayer even as I ask you to also pray with me, the Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. Amen. My dear brother and sister around the world, this is the image of the Holy God, Jesus Christ, appear in the sky August 29, 2009, when me and some of our brother and sister pray in a public place. Of course, I make this uh, color darker so you may see more detail, but uh, this is uh, the original color, it's right here, so I need to show you. Uh, you may, you know, learn something. This is, uh, this is the image of uh, the face of the Holy God, Jesus Christ, appear in the sky August 29, 2009. And then exactly one year later, the line of Judah appeared in the sky. Uh, John Revelation, John 5.1, which I've been report to you more than four years by now. And uh, I keep continue to report to you because the Almighty God uh, just give us all the brothers and sisters around the world, the wonderful warning and the wonderful hope from the Almighty God to give to every one of us on earth. Uh, therefore, we need to help each other to deliver this wonderful message from God. Uh, so, my dear brother and sister around the world, uh, at uh, the wonderful way of the Holy God, Jesus Christ, Taught us how to pray uh, with the Almighty God, uh, with uh, Brother Henry, just uh, help us, you know, to uh, listen. Uh, and it's, it's very clearly uh, because um, that is the most powerful prayer uh, from God uh, give to us. So we hope that um, all leaders around the world. Uh, take it serious and also all of the religious leaders uh, must uh, take it serious to pray because after all uh, only the Holy God Jesus Christ can save you and save your family and save your country. Uh, 